Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Dino Bioscience. Today we are going to talk about the innate and adaptive immune response. We know all that the immune response is generally to fight and prevent from the infection. They have the capacity to recognize the self and non-self antigen and in turn they produce the immune response and acts as a defense mechanism. So let's discuss the type of immune system. The first one is the innate immune system. Innate immune system or innate immunity refers to the immune responses that are present from the birth. So the innate immunity it consists of the physical barriers like the skin. We know that the skin, the surface is divisible into two parts, the epidermis and the dermis. The ep and the dermis is composed of the connective tissue and contains the blood vessels, sebaceous glands, which helps in the defense mechanism. The next point is the mucous membranes. The mucous membranes, as you know, the viscous fluid called mucus secreted by epithelial cells of mucous membranes. They entrap the foreign microorganisms or the pathogens. It is present in the lower respiratory tract. The mucous membrane is covered by a hair-like process called the cilia, which helps in the entrapment of the microorganism during the movement. So when the cilia movement occur, the cilia entrap the microorganisms from the respiratory tract. Then the next one is the saliva. Saliva, we all know that saliva consists of the salivary glands, which when flow, they prevent the action of bacteria and acts as a defense mechanism. The next one is in the urine and in the tears, we know that an enzyme called lysozyme is present. The next is the stomach acid. The stomach acid, we all know that the pH is 2 and it is very acidic in nature. So as it is acidic in nature, it kills the bacteria and helps in the defense mechanism. So overall, you can see that the physical barriers that is the skin, mucous membranes, the saliva, the urine and tears, the stomach acid all stops the infections before it enters the body. So the next point is the cells which are present in the innate immunity. Neutrophils, macrophages, basophils, eosinophils and natural killer cells. Also, mast cell is also present. The neutrophil, as we all know that it is a multi-lobe structure and all of these are phagocytosis process. It leads to death of dangerous organisms and leads to direct killing of bacteria. In the complement cascade, the innate immunity, it follows the alternate pathway and it is connected with the adaptive immunity by involving into the classical pathway. We will discuss about the alternate and classical pathway in a separate video which is a part of complement system. So let's move into the adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity is specific to an antigen you can see the allergen or a pathogen. It is very specific to particular antigen and the adaptive immunity the antigens are recognized by different lymphocytes. Let's, let's interlink the innate immunity with the acquired immunity. Suppose the phagocytosis process does not help to defense, then the macrophages, they come to the lymphocytic system, which consists of generally the lean, the tonsils, the pass patches, the spleen, so the macrophages enter to the lymphocyte system and they secrete the T cell lymphocyte and B cell lymphocyte. So the immunity which occur due to T cell lymphocyte is called T cell immunity that is called the cell mediated immunity. The T cells we all know that they are divisible into the cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells and the separated T cells. 
So they all result in the tape of the body cell that are infected with the virus or otherwise damaged. If the immune response consists of the B cell, then it is called the B cell immunity. It is also called humoral immunity. It requires an antigen exposure. That means an antigen presenting cell. The B cell, we all know that it is divisible into the memory cell and the plasma cell. And the plasma cell is the only one who can develop the antibodies. So let's discuss the differences between the innate and acquired immune system. As we have discussed, acquired immunity, it is very specific to antigen. But immune immunity is a non-specific process. And the next, next point is, the major cells that are involved in acquired immunity are T cells, B cells and antigen presenting cells. But in case of innate immunity, the major cell types are the phagocytes that are the monocytes, macrophages, neutrophil, natural killer cells and the dendritic cell. Then the next point is immunologic memory. Re-exposure to the same antigen induces more rapid and effective response. So, so immunologic memory is present in the adaptive immunity, but it is absent in the innate immunity. Immunologic memory is a certain kind of reaction which occur quickly due to the subsequent exposure of an antigen or a pathogen. So the next is Acquired immunity has the power to distinguish the self and the non -self. Acquired immunity is a very slow process and innate immunity is a very fast process. And the receptors generally in the innate immunity, they recognize the microbes through the pattern recognition receptors. For example, as we have discussed in the last class, the tall like receptors, PAMPs, and in the adaptive immunity, the receptors are, as the adaptive immunity involves the B cell and T cell, so they involve the particular B cell receptor and T cell receptor. So this is all about an overview of innate and adaptive immune response. How the innate and acquired response is different from each other and how they interconnected when a macrophage or certain cell of innate immunity fails to defend against the pathogen, then the macrophages and other cells, they enter to the lymphatic system and they produce the B and T cell. And in this way, they produce the adaptive immune response. So the innate and adaptive immune response are interconnected with each other. So that's all about an overview of innate and adaptive immune response. It is a very short regarding the entire scenario of the innate and adaptive immune response. That's all for now. I hope it will help you. Thank you.